Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is exciting because we are going to get snow. And uh, I know what you're probably thinking. How are you going to get snow in a short sleeve shirt? It's got to be like 70 degrees. And you're right about that. It's 68 degrees. And tomorrow we're supposed to get some snow, which is crazy. So we have to do some stuff to prepare for the chickens. We, well, we have some eggs, but we need to give them more bedding and give them a little bit of food. Even though they've been free ranging. I don't think they will let out today. Maybe they will. I forgot what I did. But, uh, you need to get some more food and water and bedding. Oh, come on, Teresa. Come on. And I know what you're thinking. How much snow are you going to eat, Hank? To be honest with you, I don't really know. I do have an estimate of how much snow by the weather channels. Because they kind of tell you what the weather's going to do. Anyways... One channel said two to six inches. Another channel said six to nine inches. I don't know how much snow we're going to get. One of the channels said a light dusting for our area to maybe two inches. I don't know, but we'll figure it out tomorrow. But the thing is, yesterday was 73 degrees. Today was 70 degrees. But tomorrow is supposed to be the high of 38 degrees to 36 degrees, and we're gonna get snow. The weather changes in Virginia, and I'm telling you, if you're a Virginian, you know what I'm talking about. And I definitely think there's gonna be some sort of snow. Number one, the animals are moving. And, uh, number two, to be honest, there is not a number two. But the animals are moving, and it is the last day of deer season, which means it's the last day to get a deer for 2021. And I think the deer are moving. So I'm going to try to go deer hunting so I can get a deer because they're moving because I think they know something's going to happen. And we'll let that fill up and overflow. And I checked the coon traps and the rabbit traps and nothing. So, well, we got to get this bedding out so we can give them fresh bedding. Like, this is ridiculous, guys. I'm literally in shorts and a t-shirt. I do have these gloves on because I'm doing walk around the farm. Like, we're about to get snow and I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Isn't that crazy? No, oh. come on, come on. <laughs> like, it's literally wet out because we've gotten a lot of rain. Kids, do not try this at home unless you're under parent supervision or adult supervision. Ugh. And there we go. Okay, you guys, I got the bedding down. I got some fruit for the mash in the morning. Hopefully, by the time you guys see me, there'll be some nice snow on the ground. <laughs> morning and as you can tell there's snow on the ground and there's snow coming down but uh it's actually been mixing them up a bunch of sleep this morning so we'll see how that plays out i know some parts of virginia uh it's getting a lot more snow than we are like my aunt and my uncle and my cousin they have like six inches on the ground or something and uh it started snowing like an hour or two ago so we're not getting as much still a lot of snow we still gotta check the rabbit traps and I actually had a possum in the coon trap this morning. And uh, I took care of that, let it out. No reason to dispatch a possum when I don't want to. Anyway, so the possum's out in the world when I see you can go get sheltered. This was about an hour ago. All right, the chickens got some nice mash. Just the food mixed in with bowl and water. And that's all there is to it. These chickens can come up and get food if they need to. And by the way, this is the first, I mean the first snow of the new chickens so this is the first time seeing snow and the funny thing is is all the new chickens are down <coughs> yeah like rufus is a new chicken and all the all the ones down here are blue dandelion tesla all 10 of the new chickens are down and all the old lady hens from the past few years are up <laughs> these chickens don't know what's going on yeah yeah rufus it's, it's actually 30 degrees and the water's not frozen not surprising it's slushy though all right, so I'm walking over to the first rabbit trap right now. We got to go back in the woods a little bit to uh, see it, but 
I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if we had a rabbit, even though we haven't really gotten any. There's been uh, a lot of animal activity because it's first snow of the year. Where the heck is the rabbit trap? Well, I might have to title this video trying to find my rabbit trap lost in the snow. I don't know where it is, dude. Oh, oh, here it is. And nothing in it, as y'all can tell. But okay, second one, here we come. Well, you guys, this one is a shocker. There's nothing in it. And I already kind of knew this was going to happen, probably. So no rabbits in here. But there's something I want to do, and it's rabbit season right now. I don't know if I'll film it for the second channel, Hank Hunts, by the way. Subscribe to it. But I'm, I'm willing to bet there's at least one rabbit up in here huddled down. And you really have to step on it to get them to move out. So that might be a good idea. I might try to do a rabbit hunt. So I would say about one inch is on the ground. We might get another inch or two. I don't know. And that possum that I got was pretty small. It was probably from like last year. Maybe the year before, but probably from last year. Once it finally struck, it's going to be 16, it's going to be either 16 to 14 degrees here tonight. So that's going to be real cold, so we have to make sure the chickens are well taken care of. And I'll give them some more mash later today. The sleet's cutting my face. I'll give them some more mash, and I'll probably give you guys an update in about two hours. Alright, you guys, look look at that. Got a little snow drift there <clears throat> from all the snow blowing because there's a lot of wind. Oh, look at that. There's a little bird. Hey, buddy. But uh, we got about two and a half inches on the ground. Snow's coming down pretty good right now. Don't know how much longer it would last, but it's, it's doing its thing. Quick update, guys. This is turning to a full on blizzard. It is uh, really, really cold. It's about 28 degrees. Um, the snow has been coming down really hard. It's at a slow point, but the wind is blowing hard. And they put the new effect in. It was going to go till 2 o'clock, and now it's going to go to 7 o'clock for this area. And it is about 1 o'clock, I think. Or 12.40. No, it's actually, what, what time is it? It's 11.55, so 12 o'clock, and look at this, guys. I got to close the door. The snow's coming in. We got about 4 inches right now. It's supposed to get... A lot more, apparently. So let's go. Okay, well, my hair might be a mess, and I'm not filming with the best equipment that I have. But literally, it is about three weeks later. Wait, yeah, three, no, two or three weeks. I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to put the rabbit hunt that I said I was going to do in this video. I'm going to put that on the second channel probably sometime this week, next week. Anyways, we're supposed to get some snow this Sunday, this Thursday, so I'll probably film that for the next video or the next video after that. I don't really know. I just never posted this video. I kind of just kind of edited it and then kind of forgot about it. But yeah, so three weeks later, hopefully we'll get some uh, more snow this weekend. But we've already gotten a lot of snow. I think we've gotten up to like, I think this year so far we've gotten eight or nine inches total. <clears throat> but uh. That's a pretty good amount of snow, even though it took forever for winter to hit. 